How's it going guys? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. Hope you're all doing well. We're getting hit with a substantial amount of snow right now coming in from, I guess you would say, Buffalo, New York. Now, as you saw at the beginning of the video earlier on in the week, I took a trip into Walmart and it was pretty cool to see right at the front of the store mini bar fridges uh, stylized as an Xbox Series X. Really, really, really cool to see that. Almost picked one up, but you know, I'm at max capacity here. Uh, I don't need any more uh, unnecessary contents within my living space. I already have a, a mini bar fridge, if you will. I don't need to have a mini Xbox Series X bar fridge in the household. Come on now. <laughs> And then you saw God of War 3's 50% off at Walmart in Canada. I ended up picking up a copy for 10 bucks. And then uh, you saw the Game & Watch, uh, specifically the Mario edition, Super Mario Bros. It's like, I think it was almost 50% off, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, those aren't hot sellers. They had plenty of the Legend of Zelda Game & Watch and the Mario Game & Watch as well. Still seeing the Sega Genesis Mini at Walmart in Canada, still being sold on uh, retail store shelves. Now, I was also able to take a trip into Howard's Pawn Shop, and as you can see here by this screenshot, I managed to pick up two games. PS3 games were being blown out at $5 a piece. And you know, Need for Speed Shift 2 Unleashed. I've heard quite a bit about the Shift series, I've never played them before. I've heard nothing but good things. With regards to the limited edition, you could only get this back in the day if you pre-ordered Shift 2. Uh, I'm not suggesting that it's rare, but it's nice to have the limited edition. It has kind of a lenticular design on the, on the front cover. Uh, really nice looking. And uh, you know, back in 2018, I hope I'm getting this correctly. Back in 2018, the Need for Speed store the ea need for speed online store was shut down so the downloadable content for the need for speed shift games is no longer available you can't get it online and then in 2020 i want to say maybe 2021 maybe it was last year need for if you can recall this need for speed shift and need for speed shift 2 was delisted uh, from the EA store online, you can no longer get Need for Speed Shift or Shift 2 online anywhere. The only way you're going to be able to play this, I guess, unless you get a pirated copy online for the PC, is to get a physical copy for the PS3 or the orig or the Xbox 360 or for the PC. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to have this for $5 limited edition Shift 2 Unleashed. Yeah, I love Need for Speed, and I can't wait to check this out and uh, see what all the hype is about. Now, we picked up Diablo 3. I've always wanted to get into Diablo. I remember back in the day, uh, you know, buying PC Gamer Magazine. I remember the original Diablo was all the rage back then. You don't hear too much about the original Diablo anymore, but back in the day, it was a big deal. It was like the evolution of uh, Warcraft and Starcraft. And then there was, of course, Diablo 2, and then Diablo 3. So I've never played it. I do like these style of games. I actually really do. I just never had a chance to play Diablo 3. So I know you can get it on pretty much anything these days. You can get the probably the best version on the uh, PS4 and the, uh, the Xbox One. Uh, I mean, if we're really getting technical, you'd probably be better off to play this game on PC with the mouse, right? But all that to, all that being said, for five dollars to finally pick up the much talked about Diablo three and finally be able to check it out and see what all the hype is about, I'm really excited about that. Absolutely, I hear Diablo four is coming out if it hasn't been released already. So it'd be interesting to see how that is. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Just a small pickups video. Let me know if you guys have played Shift 2 Unleashed or any of the Shift games or maybe even Need for Speed Pro Street. 
And let me know about Diablo 3. Am I getting into something worthwhile here? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Oh, one more thing before I go. When I was at the pawn shop, man, the prices are through the roof for a lot of the, uh, the retro gaming uh, devices, games, peripherals, all the rest of it. it it's kind of hit or miss. You can get an Xbox 360 Slim console for like 50 bucks all day at the pawn shop so that's a really good price but then the, uh, the the original game boy games were priced accordingly they had a contra for the game boy 50 bucks they had super mario brothers 3 game boy advance and that was 30 bucks so it was all priced accordingly they actually had a ps5 at the pawn shop if you could believe it with the disc drive and they were they're were asking get this one thousand dollars canadian for a used PS5. Wrap your freaking head around that. And they were asking $200 for a Game Boy Advance SP uh, AGS 101 model. $200. So yeah, retro is through the roof. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys can tune into the live stream later on tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Hope to see you all there. Thanks for watching. Have a good night.